still in one piece. This is a nice place. We should stick around a while. Did you hear something? You're as good in a fight as you are in the pilot seat. Research station, you speaking. What is your business here? What? We haven't sent a distress signal? Nothing on the comms. No other ships in the system since our last supply drop. Look, what are you trying to pull here? Really? The high energy research lab? Hmm. All right. I don't know what's going on here, but you should talk with the director. For security, 
I'm going to have to ask your friend to wait out there. What's inside? Stay with me and don't make any sudden moves. I'll get the door. Welcome to Nishina. Chief of security. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the director. We'll take the back way up. Here, you can see our lovely storage area. Don't touch anything. So, uh... What the? Easy! Easy! What the hell was that? What? One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. In our storage room. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Who are you working for? Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Come on, this way. Who's there? Oh, oh, thank God. Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? It's been so long. I'm out of food, out of water. But I made it. I... Wait, how did you get in here? What? What are you talking about? No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... The accident. Maybe... Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... Right. Sorry. Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. The lab was built around a xenolith with a dense metallic ob... Disappear! We should... Wait. He's back. All right. We're on our way up. He was out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. Come on. If anything happens, the director's office is on the second floor, end of the hall. You can't miss it.
this way. Kaya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director, you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. What does our research have to do with this? No, it's fine. Let's start there. This facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. Three months ago, our chief engineer was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions and somehow it's still running. That would make sense. That's why the field strength keeps increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. An artifact? The multiverse. Other universes? And you have some connection with them, then. Interesting. I wonder if that's why this is only affecting you. That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait. Gasfire. Gas fire. The leak. Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly his elevator works. Take it. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting. We can't shut down the probe, but we might be able to adjust some of the other parameters. It's risky. We don't know what we're dealing with, but... <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Come with me. The control unit is in the fabrication lab next door. What have we gotten ourselves into? you what happened you disappeared and the ceiling caved in and and uh, i thought i'd finally lost it what how look if you think things are bad up here the research level is even worse i barely made it out and that was months ago i don't understand any of this if i hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes I wouldn't have believed it. 
I... Okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess. to take hours to clear this out, assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking in and out of existence. I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. I'm not sure. It might stop whatever's happening to you. It's a reasonable theory, I guess. It's you. You realize you just popped into my locked office. So much for security protocols. Uh, sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Yeah, let me get the doors for you. And done. Is there anything else you need? The Kataxi in the other universe. Uh-huh. Wow. I've got an experimental thing one of the engineers put together, but... Uh, huh. That makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. This isn't getting us anywhere. Easy! We are just talking, right? All right, yeah. It's never been field tested, but all yours.
What, did you get lost in the hallway? Ugh. All right. This is the probe control unit. Most of these controls aren't responding. I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin by adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam array. We're at 93 terabolts. Calibrating to 95, 97, 100. Ugh, nothing. Let's try the other way. 91, 89. What the? Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach. But what in the world? It's a micro distortion. Flux pattern matches the distortion in the lab. The setting is just exposing it somehow. Hmm. Step into the distortion, please. Nothing. No, hold on. There's a slight pattern change. Some kind of resonance. All right, stay there. Let me turn the feedback up for a moment. Calibrating to 90, 91. What happened? Are you all right? So the lower setting causes the distortions to manifest and the higher causes you to shift. That seems promising. Keep it on the lower setting until you want to shift and you should be able to avoid any more accidents. I'd give you my control unit, but it looks like you already have one from the other universe. Love to take a look at that when this is all over. Right? If you can get down to the research level, you need to make your way to the High Energy Research Lab. Disengage the power interlocks, then pull the emergency shutdown to stop the probe. That should finally put an end to all this. Oh, and before you go, the director wanted to speak with you. Try not to get lost in the hallway again. Well then, all set? If you need supplies, I've asked Dr. Barakova to take care of you. It's the least I can do after everything we've put you through. Before you go, there is one other thing we should discuss. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. What happens then? To you and to us. Yes, and what of us? Nishina is a closed system. Two potential states held in tension. When you shut down the experiment, that tension will resolve. You are the outside observer in the system. Whichever reality you are in, at that moment, is what will become real. For you, and your universe at least. The question is, which will you choose? Hmm. If this were a choice between my life and Raphael's, I would ask you to save him. But as the director of the station, I am responsible for the lives of my staff. Thirty people. People with families, careers, futures ahead of them. In this universe. You don't have to decide now. But when the time comes, please, keep them in mind. Now. It's time you are going. 
With the network offline, we can't shut down the security system on the research level, so you can expect some resistance. Be careful. Ethan, unlock the elevator lobby, please. Ma'am, research level is still locked down. I'm aware of that. I... All right. Done. Good luck, dear. It's been a fascinating day. Tatiana Barakova, station's doctor. This is not a public medical facility, but the director has ordered me to assist you nonetheless. I can spare a few med packs. Beyond that, I am not your therapist, your psychologist, or your cosmetologist. If there's anything else you need, ask. My journal? Have you been in my quarters? Who do you think you are? The director may have given you run of this station, but I... Wait. Wait. What is this? This entry. It's mine, but... I didn't write this. And the scorch marks. God. Yes. Yes, I do. I can spare a few more supplies. And I'll give you a break on anything else you need. <sighs> Let me see what I can find. Yes, what? <clears throat> Don't, Don't touch them. Lockdown is active. Emergency override controls are available on designated security terminals.
The security lockdown is active. Emergency override controls are available on designated security terminals.
there not possible? Can they model my system clear failure?
search pattern unique. Massive damage. Catastrophic damage. are available on designated security terminals.
countdown has been terminated. You are? Welcome back. Ethan, how are we doing? Research levels back online. Definitely some damage, but it could be a lot worse. We will have to replace a few robots. Yes, well, that's a small price to pay, all things considered. This is a lot to take in. Artifacts, multiple universes. Look on the bright side, dear. Just imagine the papers you'll publish. If anyone even believes this. I am curious though. Why did you decide to stay here? With us? Of course. I'll make sure the consortium remembers his sacrifice. Our next supply ship will be arriving soon. I'll have a full report ready for them. For now, I'd like to extend our gratitude and what compensation I can offer for everything we put you through. Thank you. This has been a truly remarkable experience.